Hey, what's up everyone? So welcome back to another video and um, it's been really long time since I did a review on a build for Windows 10 Mobile. Since the newer builds, they don't really have anything new, at least for the moment. There's only like bug fixes, only the desktop version is getting newer features, which I'm gonna make a video as well. But this build actually brings some very good bug fixes. Previously, when opening the notification center and the settings, Sometimes it was bugging and it was freezing so you couldn't move the settings, couldn't move the notification as well. For example, you open like this in the middle and then it was freezing so you couldn't like do anything. Uh, this was fixed in this build and one another thing that it got fixed as well and it's a very welcomed fix is the RAM memory leak which was happening previously and kind of everyone knows about that and what memory leak means is for example when you open like any apps tubecast my tubes stream or even facebook i have facebook yeah I, I opened facebook like half an hour ago maybe an hour just to test it and when you were going back to that application let's try to go to back to facebook see it still come back to, to to this page okay i closed facebook right now let's try to reopen it again because uh, Facebook it gives a lot of problems, it still kind of crashes because it needs 2 GB of uh, RAM. Uh, I installed Facebook on inter in SD card and it's not the best solution. Uh, but as you saw, I minimized my Facebook application. Let's go for example into a post, let's stop for example, let's stop here. We go back to our home screen. And I let like this, I let it for half an hour, one hour maybe, maybe not one hour, maybe like 40 minutes. And you see here the image, when you go back, it still stays here. And this was causing a problem previously, because if you were going to minimize it and then going back, it wasn't coming here, it was going at the top. So this, it was like a memory leak, which was losing where the application it was. So it was just resetting the default of the app and going at the top. Same was happening for example any other app like Tubecast or even Browser. And this memory leak fix, it is as well welcomed because I have Facebook opened, I can open now a bunch of other apps and then my phone will not crash. Previously was happening if you open way too many apps and this memory leak starts to happen so your phone runs out of memory and you keep opening apps then the phone might crash and like restart. Now, if this happens, it's, it's like if you open way too many apps and you're running out of memory RAM, then you'll not be able to open other apps or from 2.1, you'll not be able to open new other apps until you close the, uh, the previous ones or the OS will close by himself previous apps so you can open newer apps, which by both way it's fine for me because this phone doesn't have a lot of RAM and uh, for me it can close other apps that I don't use in order for me to open newer apps and like this the phone will always work fine and will not crash which is very very welcomed fix. You saw I opened a bunch of apps uh, or oh, you saw yeah let's here are the apps that I opened of course it's not many but this phone doesn't have a lot of RAM as well and Facebook is always a problem. Uh, and let's if we go back to Facebook Facebook still stays on that spot uh, so if I'm gonna still open more and more apps eventually Facebook will lose where I was and it might restart or the, the OS might close Facebook by himself which I'm also fine uh, because uh, whenever you open more, 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 more apps and more apps then uh, you run out of memory but yeah very good fix yeah thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one